Intentional Sleepyheads, my name is Storm Selich, and the story I'm going to read to you tonight is Too Much TV by Stan and Jan Bierenstein. It was, it was a fine spring day in the bear country, the Blue bears, blue birds were singing and turned tr out were leaping and exclept e x c p t for one small. C L O U D of dust blowing behind the school bus as it came over the hills. Hill. The air was springing clean. Mama Bear was inside the family treehouse fixing brother and sister bear bears after school snack. Brother and sister bear got off school the school bus and came into the kitchen with everything a hello. Their milk and cookies into the living room. The shield on the TV. Where? No question about it, thought Mama. Whose cubs are watching too much TV? Those cubs are watching too much TV. Later, when Papa Bear came in from his shop, and joined other and sister mama became even more more C O N V I N C E D there's O A B S O L U T E L L L why? No question about it. The whole bear family is watching too much TV. She w wasn't quite sure how it had happened. Maybe it began with the old fuzzy hair black and white picture black and white set broken down and they got a big new color set. Or maybe it started when Papa put the entrance up on top of the tree house and brought the in pictures from all of over 
fair country. But how it has happened, one thing was sure the bear family was spending more and more time watching television and less and less time with all the other things they might be doing in dead. The Bear family had always set had lovely clovers around the dinner table, but not flatly at at flatly. They just sat around and chew. The cubs had all kinds of fun playing outdoors, but not anymore. That, that then, and after dinner, then brother and sister scrambled in the, scrambled in to turn on the TV, almost stopped them, <clears throat> and said, her place, you I've been watching all together too much television all around here, but Mama and Brother Nearly Bear is coming on and will we'll miss it. And the bear Sukes added sister. Well we'll you just have to miss them, said Mama Fran Franley. more she said as you may as well get used to the idea because there's not going to be any television around here for a whole week no TV for a week said stop stop cubs but mama mama never mind but said papa your mother is also right absolutely right there's a lot more to life to life than TV likes homework for instance and French air and some shine and elements. Note 
TV for a week. It's then only a ten of idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a sport show. Sports show I want to watch. Just a moment, Papa, said Mama. No TV for a week, and you too. What? said Papa. You can't be serious. But Mama was very serious. What about the news? Posted Mama. Papa, I wouldn't know what's going on in the world if I don't watch the TV news. Here, try this, said Mama. It's called the newspaper and the where counted Papa. How will we know what is the weather will be? Try this, said Mama. It's called putting your hand out the window to see if it's raining, what are you stripping to do? Just sat around, sit around and talk, ask brother. Thou be fine for stairs, said Mama, spelling conform into her rocker but it had been so long since the bears family sat around and talked that at they had swore a forgotten how it really didn't matter because pretty soon Papa fell, fell asleep and snored so loudly that they wouldn't have heard each other anyway. After school the next day, the cubs looked along at the TV, but Mama showed them out uh, to play. Brother's bike had a turf that needed pumping up and sister's tricycle needed a little oil and white it seemed strange not which in television watching television. It was fun riding bikes and tricycles again, sort of.